Hello, chums. How you doing? Welcome back, Simply Snuff Time. Honestly, I've tried recording this about 30 times. Every time I do it, something goes wrong. I don't know what it is, GoPro's thrown a wobbly. I'm in Whitby, it's Easter weekend, so it's absolutely packed. And I tried to record it about 10 minutes ago outside, but it's scooter weekend. So the scooters are flying around all over. You can't hear yourself think, honestly. Absolutely ridiculous. So I've come into Witherspoons. I thought I might try and record it in here, see whether I can get away with it or not. I'll do me best, I'll do me best. So, uh, yeah, we've got a bit of uh, Royal George. I won't keep calling it Royal St George for some reason. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm in Spoon. So, I was in um, Abbey Wharf last night, and I rocked up to the bar, and I said to the barman, can I have a medium glass of Pinot Grigio, please? And he says, yes, sir, no problem. Comes back, puts it on the table, he said, that'll be £6.50, please. <laughs> I says, how much? He says six pound fifty, please. Anyway, I drank it. Came back across the other. I'm not having that. Came back over there. Two pound forty nine for a medium glass of Pinot Grigio. So guess where I'll be going tonight? <laughs> anyway, we're off to eat at Macy Brown's. Uh, Macy Brown's is it? Macy Brown's low. Uh, my daughter's with me. Um, I'm over. I'm going to be in Whitby for about two or three, three or four weeks because the uh, the cleaners let us down. So. The uh, holiday let we've got next door, I'm having to clean it and do the linen and wash, wash the beds. <laughs> wash the beds, wash the bed linen, do the vacuum and all that time. It's all right, actually. It takes me about two hours start to finish, but it's, it's okay. Anyway, slow down. So we've got a tin of this. This is Royal George. It's from Wilson's of Shadow. It's a fresh tin. I got it direct from them. It's medium size, and I think it costs £1.75. I've got a snuff paddle somewhere, but to be honest with you, oh, it's here. It's here, here it is. Slow down, Simon, slow down. I'm getting a bit hyper. So, yeah, lovely tin, fresh, fresh as a daisy, straight from the factory. I thought I'd get, I probably wouldn't have reviewed this, uh, I probably wouldn't have taken this snuff, let's put it that way, if I hadn't been reviewing snuffs, because it's a floral and I'm not right knocked out with them. But I thought I'll give it a go. I like Wilson's of Shadow, they do, uh, they go, do a nice snuff. So, we've got this, there you go, let's get the tin open. It's brown. I'd like to tell you it's golden brown or rusty brown, but it isn't. it's brown. Good enough. It's a fine grind. Typical of Wilson's of Shadow base flower. And it's got a decent bit of moisture in it, which is nice to so pull it all together. I'm not going to take it on the snuff paddle. I'm going to get it towards the front of my nose. Let's tell you about the tin, though. It's a bit dusty, actually. I said it's full of moisture, but I'm not sure about that. Sorry about kids in here, but there's not a lot I can do about it. Can't go around. <laughs> No, I won't go there. Front of those, sweet floral. Yeah, you get loads of that. Getting rose first off. They reckon there's nine toppings in this snuff. Nine toppings. Oh, goodness me, nine toppings. Am I going to be able to pick them all up? So we've got sweet, we've got floral. I've got some rose, I've got some vanilla. Maybe a little bit of jasmine going on. Is that five? It's not... There's no burn with it, but it is a little bit sharp when you take it. But honestly, you have to get this towards the front of your nose. But it's nice when it's in. <laughs> As the actress said to the bishop. There you go, another double entendre. But it is nice when it's in. It sits there, if you get it to the front of your nose. Uh, it's got a bit of aniseed, a bit of licorice, I think. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit, a bit, a bit, a little bit like uh, honey. A little bit, but it's hard to detect, it's hard to pick out. I don't know how many that is. Is that seven or eight or six? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just ignoring what the factory says. Nine toppings. I'll just tell you what I can smell in it. <laughs> yeah, we're off to Macy Brown's tonight. We're, looking, we're booked in at seven o'clock, so that'll be nice. Uh, we'll have a gargle. We went to uh, Pizza West last night. Very nice. Two pizzas. A couple of drinks and uh, one pudding, uh, 57 pounds. Perfect. <laughs> Welcome to Whitby. Anyway, I try and keep these short but sweet. So we've got Royal Jaws. It's from Wilson's of Shadow. It's in a medium tin. I think it costs £1.75. I got it direct from Wilson's of Shadow. It's a floral. It's light brown in colour. It's got a, a fine grind. It's got a bit of moisture in there. 
it's sweet, it's floral, there's rose, there's lavender, there's a bit of jasmine, there's some licorice, there's some aniseed, there's some vanilla in there. It's absolutely delightful. People said to me, Simon, what's a good snuff for beginners? Well, I'll tell you what it is. This is good. It's good. It's good all round. It's, you don't have to be a beginner to take it. But if you are a beginner, it's pretty good. It's got a medium vitamin N on it, so it's not going to blow the top of your head off. And uh, yeah, it's a great snuff to start with. So any of your uh, newbies out there, uh, have a look. Wilson's a shadow. Give it a go. Get a tin of this. You'll probably like it. I do. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we got it this time. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thanks again. Chin-chin.